Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So uh, in this particular video, we are going to talk about the basic definition and scope of accountancy. And along with that, we will start with the um, uh, accountancy standards. Okay. So uh, guys, um, whenever we talk about accountancy, so there are so many things which is involved with this particular subject. Okay. And basically it is generally known as uh, the uh, language of business okay so you can uh, define or uh, the basic meaning of the accountancy is so the it is a language of business like let's say if you are preparing accounts for any xyz company so what was the past of that particular company okay who are the major stakeholders what is the performance of that particular company and so uh, like how basically stakeholders they are generally maximizing their wealth through uh, uh, different different actions what will be the future course of actions so which is all that generally depend on the numbers so these all numbers like which generally follow a complete uh, process which start from a recording of data then we have classification which is also known as uh, bookkeeping or ledger system okay then we have summarizing of data then we have reporting then we have interpreting okay where, where we generally use different different ratios for the uh, future uh, decision making okay so account accountancy is nothing but it is a business language or on the basis of that past and present data we are generally making decisions uh, for the future so in this particular video we are generally going to talk about the basic introduction of uh, accountancy which we already uh, discussed then we have what is accountancy process uh, nature of accountancy then we have accounting uh, standards and accountancy versus uh, bookkeeping so what is the key differences between these two terminologies one is accountancy and another one is a uh, bookkeeping okay let's just start with the accountancy process so now what is accountancy as i earlier told you so whenever we talk about the um, accountancy it's a, a language of uh, any uh, xyz business okay so we can say uh, it it is uh, it is an art uh, of recording classifying summarizing the data and on the basis of that particular data we generally interpret that particular data and uh, we make our future decisions so, okay we means the stakeholder of that particular company or investors uh, for a particular xyz company they, they, on the basis of that particular data they generally make their decisions okay so it's a systematic whenever you talk about the um, accountancy we have we we do follow a process which is start from recording then uh, we have classifying then we have summarizing that particular data then a reporting of that particular data like balance sheet uh, all other things and then we have uh, interpretation of that particular data okay so we generally analyze that particular data and we make our future decisions about that particular uh, company as well okay so uh, this here you can see the entire process of uh, the accountancy as well. So first we generally record data like they all debit and credit entries. So whatever transactions we are doing that particular uh, uh, in that particular company to run that particular company's day to day operation or any XYZ project. Okay. So we have number of um, inflows, number of outflows, there are number of day to day activities happen on daily basis in any company. So we uh, record all the data in the form of cash book or even uh, we uh, like we have a number of cash book and others uh, means and all uh, to recording this one then we classify that particular data let's say in a company we have number of transactions so then we classified those x number of transactions in different different heads those generally known as uh, bookkeeping or ledger process so, so we have different different ledgers like uh, that company deal with um, uh, in raw material we have different different raw material we have employees salaries we have number of accounts okay so a proper classification for each and individual then we summarize that particular data through um, trial balance and other uh, uh, other aspects okay so where we generally summarize that particular data what is the overall uh, uh, income and what is the overall expenditures then we prepare uh, reportings we prepare reports which are generally known as balance sheet or you can say company account one and company account two and on the basis of that particular one we interpret that particular data or we make our future decisions okay so being a stakeholder of that particular company so what are the strong areas what are the weak areas 
uh, what are the alternatives for the investment and how to maximize the wealth of uh, uh, shareholders, stakeholders. So on the basis of the given data, we generally use that particular one. So this is the entire process which we generally use in accountancy. So it's an art basically. Uh, it's a part of art. Okay. So it is an art um, recording, classifying and summarizing, summarizing in a significant manner. Uh, so significant manners mean we do have some standards. So on the basis of these particular standards, companies, they have to maintain their uh, uh, this particular data or balance sheet or uh, like uh, BRS statements uh, or the different different kind of reports. Okay. And in term of money transactions only. Okay. So whenever you men will come to the conventions of uh, accountancy, so we will understand these particular things. Like we do not consider the goodwill things or the health of stakeholders and all. So we only consider only. Uh, those things which are generally related to money only and events which um, are in part of last financial character and um, uh, interpret that particular data for the future need. So it's a it's a language of business. So you can summarize uh, this accountancy as a language of business. Hope this is clear to all of you. Now, uh, if you talk about the accountancy, so we heard about few things. So like first we have classification. A systematic classification of business transactions in term of money and financial character. So money, like when, whatever transaction, let's say uh, being a company, you paid salary, uh, salaries to the, your employees. So it's a money transaction. So you that will be part of your uh, uh, accountancy process. Financial character, you made some investment in some securities and all. So that will be part of that particular one. But notional profit or the health of uh, stakeholders or owner of that particular business, business. So that is not considered or that is not part of your um, uh, accountancy process. Okay. So first we have bookkeeping where we generally create different, different ledgers. We collect data and um, uh, we, we create different different segments so we can further use that particular one and this entire data that is that have uh, that that is in term of money and it has a financial character then we summarize that particular data in uh, trial balance and balance sheet so uh, trial balance and balance sheet we use and we summarize like we in case of uh, bookkeeping we have different different ledgers okay because a company with deal with number of uh, uh, like entities so for sep each and every entity we have different different accounts so in trial balance and balance sheet we generally summarize that particular data so after that uh, interpreting uh, the financial transaction on the basis of the balance sheet data we generally use that particular data for the future decision making about that XYZ company. So this entire process is generally part of your accountancy. Hope this is clear to all of you guys. So to understand accountancy, you need to understand these basic things. I know most of uh, most of people, they are generally aware about this particular process. Still, we will go with the basics, then we'll come to the advanced. Okay. So purpose of accountancy, I hope now it is clear. So it's a, like um, to keep a systematic record uh, result of operation like if uh, being a company we are running some project so what is the outcome of that particular project how we are using our resources okay and how to maximize the wealth of stakeholders uh, financial position of that particular business how that particular business is doing quarter on quarter basis or year on year basis okay so performance we can check the performance of that particular company by using different different ratios or by studying the balance sheet or trial balance of that particular company okay uh, to facilitate uh, rational decision making so future decision making can be done on the basis of the given data or on the basis of these particular uh, uh, statements uh, satisfy requirement of law and useful in, in many aspects like we have some accounting standards or uh, like we have some set of rules and regulations for companies so are these companies are following these guidelines properly or not so on the basis of this one okay so there are so many uses there are so many purpose of accountancy in uh, the system and it is generally used in different different ways as well okay now there are two terms sometimes students they generally get confused between accountancy and bookkeeping so the one thing is whenever we talk about the bookkeeping it's, it's a prior uh, process of uh, accountancy okay so we can say it's a narrower term okay bookkeeping is like like uh, there are number of transactions that happen on daily basis in our organizations 
so to keep a record of these particular transactions that is generally part of your bookkeeping okay so let's say uh, you are running some small company you spend some money on uh, like let's say pantry uh, cost is or you you book some you buy some stationery so all to keep or to prepare the data for all these small transactions um, in different different books so that is part of your bookkeeping okay or we have ledgers for the proper uh, segmentations of this particular data so ledger book, books these are generally part of your bookkeeping but when we like when we enter in trial balance or when we come to the um, difference like we sometimes we have difference in balance sheet as well as uh, the uh, bank accounts passbook okay so we we use brs statements so these all are generally part of your accountancy process or even like when we use the past data or the given data like uh, data from balance sheet or different different ratios so that is a part of accountancy so accountancy is generally a broader term which we can say uh, we can say uh, it's a broader term or bookkeeping is generally part of your accountancy okay so both they have their importance because like without bookkeeping or without the defined ledger you cannot prepare your accounts okay but if you if you see the scope so accountancy that has a a uh, broader scope so bookkeeping is um, uh, the recording of business transactions in a book or ledger accountancy is a wide wider concept which is um, a way that one in a position to understand a uh, state affair of that particular business this line is very important okay so through bookkeeping or through ledger you cannot understand the a performance of that particular business but if you talk about the accountancy so if you have that particular account so you can understand you can analyze the performance of that particular organization so okay so it has a broader aspect um user of financial statement like um, are sorry user of financial statements are income tax department shareholders investors banks financial institutions and all okay so they generally use this for Let, let's say if you want to invest in some xyz company let's say if you want to invest in uh, tcs so before investing in that before making that particular decision you will go through the fundamentals of that particular company and fundamentals which, which generally include the, uh, the the accounts of that particular company you will study the accounts of that particular company how that particular company is doing in last one year last 10 years or last 5 years what is the earning per ratio for that particular one for that xyz company or what is the debt to equity ratio so you have different different data on the basis of that particular data you you will make your investment decision in that particular company okay so it is um, in uh, the interest of financial statements reflect true and fair a view of a uh, view of a state of the affair in uh, an entity so like with the with this particular data so you generally make your investment decision be, being an investor or even like um, uh, with this particular data will have a transparency in any xyz company and as per the accounting standards it is mandatory to for the companies they have to present this particular report okay because or even they cannot falsify that particular report uh, so because the investors they generally making their decisions on the basis of these particular financial statements only so uh, hope uh, the difference between accountancy and bookkeeping is also clear and the purpose or the basic meaning of um, the uh, bookkeeping is uh, the accountancy is already clear now we'll talk about accounting standards in this video i'll just introduce the accounting standards in our next video we will talk about the detail of accounting standards all 32 accounting standards and what is the provision one thing about accounting standards this part is very very important and uh, so many time examiner they generally ask question based on accounting standard like uh, uh, like they'll give you uh, the different different areas like they'll give you ki earning per share is part of which accounting standards uh, or accounting standard one include what so these kind of question so you need a basic understanding about these uh, accounting standards as well. and even you need to remember these particular one now the question is what is accounting standards so whenever we talk about accounting standards so these are some set of guidelines these are uh, some set of rules and regulations okay so let's say if you are uh, uh, you can take any example Let, let's say we have insurance industry so for to run this particular industry we have a market regulator which is ada 
okay so ilda we generally provide rules and regulations okay so if you are if you have a willing to start a insurance company so these are the guidelines you have to follow these particular guidelines then only you can uh, start a insurance company in india similarly for banks we have some set of guidelines like if you want to run a bank in india so these are the guidelines under rbi act under banking regulation act so you have to follow this particular one okay so even if you are to start some company so we have companies act so similarly uh, accounting standards these are some guidelines okay and uh, like if you uh, maintain like, like let's say if you are running some company so you have to maintain the company's record in this particular manner okay so with accounting standard they generally give you how you will maintain the uh, company's uh, data or even what is the mandatory data which you have to maintain or which you have to disclosure on uh, every year or in the sp specific uh, time duration okay so these set of guidelines they are generally known as um, accounting standard so these are nothing these are some set of guidelines which is generally provided by the authorities to the companies and in uh, they have some uh, defined process and on the basis of this particular process you have to maintain your company's account so every uh, functioning body that operate need uh, a defined guideline so uh, uh, as to maintain the uh, procedure or procedure and standard of the operations of its uh, own business the rules that make the policy common for organization now like the second line is generally based on so this these guidelines are not for a specific company these for all okay so let's say we have 100 it companies in india so all 100 companies they have to follow the same guidelines so we have a similarity so investor they like uh, like the outcome of that particular uh, like the, that particular statement will be similar okay so companies they cannot change these particular standard according to their portfolio so they have these are the uh, guidelines which are generally issued by government basically for your basic under understanding you can say so um, every organization they have to follow this one so this remain same for each and every one like for banks guidelines which is same for all banks which are generally given by RBI. Similarly here as well, we have a set of guidelines which is applied to all organizations. Okay, so guys, uh, in this particular video, we generally talk about the basic of accountancy. Like to understand, like if you're planning to understand the uh, accountancy or if you want to understand the accounts, so you need to understand the basic things. So this is the basic. You do not need uh, like. This is more than enough data for your accountancy introduction okay so if you understand this one this is more than enough okay and in next video we will talk about the different different accounting standards their uses and how companies they have to follow these one okay and every accounting standards we will discuss in detail and then like one by one we will cover the uh, entire syllabus of accountancy or uh, accountancy and financial management for bankers as well so hope you enjoy the video if you like please do subscribe i'll come with more videos so, so stay tuned thank you guys